Good morning, ladies. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm just pulling you up on my screen in front of me here so I can see you. You'll notice you can't see me. That is okay. This layout, I definitely wanted you to be able to see what I was doing. So I'm going to do the overhead view here. I'm just going to pull it up in front of me. Good morning. How many of you have turkeys in the oven? Hopefully lots of you. I do not have a turkey in the oven right now. We're going to do that tomorrow. But here we go. Now I can see up here. So I think you're kind of straight on your screen. Good morning. Good morning, Gail. Hi, how are you? I'm going to do a little moving around today. Like I said, you're not going to see me, but that is okay. Though I did put on a pretty red dress for you. Um, but I really just wanted you to be able to see this layout as we create it. I'm trying to get you nice and straight. And I think you're still crooked, but that's okay. It's me. Good morning. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Chris. Hey, Andy. So we're going to do this one together like this. I, for those of you that don't know, my husband did finally make it home, which is very exciting for our family. Um, I think I've totally just made your crooked again. Um, and uh, that's very exciting. But we, obviously, he just got home. Um, he's only at home a day. We didn't really have a chance to... Um, spend some time on this. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sharon. Um, your son is going to be calling you today. I know he hasn't yet, but we just, we had that one day together and it was great. We, um, actually we, <laughs> we didn't really do anything yesterday. We sent the kids grocery shopping with a huge list. So they have gone, they got all the food that we needed for the weekend. Scott and I were in the pool yesterday for hours, which was amazing. So we didn't step in the studio yesterday, so I'm really sorry about that. But okay, you guys, I still think you're crook. I'm crooked for you. I want to try to make this straight. Sorry, the screen's gonna move a little bit for a second, but um, I just want to make you a little bit straighter because I know that that's frustrating. So, and there's a little bit of a delay, so I just want to make sure that you're straight and I know that you're not. Okay, there you are. Good morning, hi everyone. Turkey in the oven, turkey day tomorrow here too, yeah. Aw, uh, thanks Carol, I love this red dress. You guys, I cannot get you straight to save my soul. I'm gonna leave it like this for two seconds and then if it's not straight, I'm gonna try one more time. And uh, see if we're straight. Sorry, I'm gonna move my chair. I'm gonna do a little bit of up and down today. So this is the layout that we're creating. Um, but I have a few other things that I want to talk to you about first. Oh, I think we're straight-ish. Better. Okay. Um, so I've got the layout here, but I have a couple of things that I want to talk to you about first. So I have been terrible about posting winners over these past few weeks. I feel awful about it. So what I did was um, I drew some extra this morning. So there's five winners. So these are the winners here. So you guys are getting a pack of thickers and a pack of enamel dots. And these are gonna be mailed out to you guys this week. So I have Kendra Hum as a winner. I have Lindsay Cummings. Astrid Eckstein, Adele, and Adele, I always butcher your last name, um, Tichi, I'm not sure, but I know you're my only Adele that's always with me every week, so Adele, and Melanie Martin, so Melanie, Adele, Astrid, Lindsay, and Kendra, you all have these little prize packs coming to you in the mail this week, thank you so much for your patience, um, and then we're on track for this week for the winner, whoever posts their layout take on today. Good morning, straight as it can be for your viewing. Oh good, thanks Darlene. <laughs> it's, uh, this is about as good as it's getting today, girls. I, um, have you, did, my screen just went black. Did yours, Scott? No. No, okay. All right, well, that's great. Um, I can't see, but that's all good. It, it's fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. Oh, you're welcome, Melanie. Yeah, congratulations to all of you. Again, so sorry for being so delayed. That is not ever my goal, but I am a bit of a one girl show here. So um, sometimes things just fall um, by the wayside a little bit and I'd never mean to do that. So anyway, there's a few extra packages drawn there and those are coming out this week. Um, another really exciting thing that I have for you, I've got my little notes here. I'm going to show you guys this. This is how I keep my little notes to make sure that I'm telling you everything. 
So look, free shipping. You guys, free shipping. Free shipping starts right now. I loaded it this morning. So the free shipping is um, goes until tomorrow night until 11.30 p.m. So Monday, 11.30 p.m. PST. So anything that you order today until 11.30 p.m. PST tomorrow, Monday, you will receive free shipping. All you need to do is enter the code free shipping all together one word free shipping and you will not pay shipping on any order no matter um how heavy it is it does need to be a minimum purchase so it is a 75 dollar minimum purchase so that's no big deal that's two kits and most of you are ordering two or three kits at a time so that shouldn't be hard so if there's some kits on the website that you have been wanting now is a great time to do that because usually two kits come through as heavy goods shipping so you're going to save anywhere from $14.50 to $18.50. So um, if you're wanting to do a little shopping, now is the time. Okay, so code free shipping on orders of $75 or more until tomorrow night. And again, you know that I never offer that. This is only the second time. So enjoy it for Thanksgiving. And um, I will get your orders out on Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Okay, so this is the layout that we're going to do tonight or tonight, this morning. Um, and I wanted to do the overhead so that you all could see. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, we talked about in the, in the supplies that these little strips here, you were going to need several. So I said six to eight different patterns. I think I used seven on this layout. And I think I've got seven on the layout that I'm going to do with you. Well, I've got eight on that one. So these are one inch strips, girls. So one inch by three is what we're starting with, okay? So one inch by three. I'm just gonna set this one off to the side. I'm gonna move my chair here. So if you hear some noise. So I'm gonna set this one up here in the corner, just kind of off so that you can still see a little bit of it. But then I'm just gonna get started with you. So I have my strips pre-cut. I did them this morning because I am going to do a little bit of um, sanding. I did sand all of these ones. You can if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's totally fine. That's up to you. Um, I'm going to actually use these pictures from when Scott came home the other day. So I'm going to use those. Um, I'm going to set those aside. And then I actually am using the Broco kit. So I believe that's sold out on the website. But if any of you have it, I'm using it because... Um, you can use it for anything, right? It doesn't necessarily just have to be for the boys. I loved all the colors and it worked really well with the photos. So really what you're trying to get to is your one by three inch strips in six to eight different patterns and no real number girls. Like I used about 30 on this layout, but it's going to depend on how far up you want to go. So that's going to be a personal choice. So don't worry about necessarily how many, just maybe cut a couple of one inch strips off some of your patterns and, um, and then just cut them into your three inch strips. We are going to make a few of them a little bit smaller. You're going to see on this layout that I did, some of them are a little shorter. There's a few that are like two, two and a quarter, two and three quarters, just to make them fit into our spaces. And then you're going to do some trimming off of the sides and the bottom. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna go through that as we go along. I have a starting point for you. I wanna make sure that you have a place to start. Um, that's always really important so that you're not just throwing paper onto your layout base and then you're not really sure where to go after that. Um, oh, you're welcome, you're welcome, Adele. Um, oh yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you guys too. Thanks, Jamie. Hi everyone, sorry if I've missed you. No one pronounces your name correctly. Oh, Tishi, oh perfect, thank you. I will never forget now, Adele Tishi. I will uh, always remember that. Okay, well congratulations. So um, I decided that on this one I was gonna do the pattern because I said to you in the supplies you could use a cardstock, which I did on the first one, uh, but I'm gonna use this Tone on Tone. So this is out of the Brow & Co kit, um, this Tone on Tone Gray. And then I'm adding a bunch of really great bright colors in here as well. So we're going to start with all of these pieces, but I want to get you to a starting point. So if you've got a pencil and a ruler handy, which that's kind of in your basic supply kit, you should always have that. I'm just going to take these off of here. I'm going to show you how I started. So here's the thing. It depends on your scrapbooking personality. I, of course, you guys know me. I like everything nice and straight. 
very type A. I can't just throw things down on paper very easily. Um, it doesn't really work well for me, but having a place to start is always a really great thing. So you're going to be a little bit happier, I think, when you start to put your papers down because they're going to fit a little bit better. So what I want you to do with your pencil and your ruler, and you'll need a little eraser after this as well, is I just want you to go up one and three quarters from the bottom. So I just took my ruler and I just made a little mark one and three quarters up on the right and then I did the same thing on the left one and three quarters up and I found that this was just a really great place to start I did connect the lines so you're gonna just want to make this a light line and um, and then you'll erase it afterwards you're not gonna see a lot of it but just give yourself that spot the next thing you want to do is just put a few dots in a couple of spots okay so this is just a really great place for you to start so I want you to put a dot at one and a half so I've got one right here and then I want you to put a dot at five and three quarters and then again at nine and three quarters okay ladies so we went up one and three quarters from the bottom we did a nice little pencil line there that you're gonna be able to erase no big deal and then you're gonna put a little dot at one and three quarters sorry one and a half five and three quarters nine and three quarters okay one and a half five and three quarters nine and three quarters so this isn't you don't have to do this you don't have to make sure that you get everything bang on on these numbers this was just a really great place that I found that gave me a good spot to start okay so those are your few marks that you're gonna go ahead and make um, on your base okay so then you're gonna want to make sure that you've got all your pieces ready to go I'm not gonna sand these ones I'm gonna put these ones on straight it's probably gonna drive me bananas but it's okay I'm gonna do it anyway um, I might just take off a few of the ragged edges. So then you just want to pick your spot to start. So I'm going to put this one actually right here. And I'm going to show you so that you can kind of see the one done and then see where I'm going to start. So you'll see in here, I started with my little three inch strip. But what I wanted to do was just put my point at that first little dot at that one and a half inch dot. Okay, so I've got my side off. I'm just slightly off the point on the bottom left corner of your base. Okay, but I have my top of my triangle, or, or sorry, the triangle that I'm gonna be making. I've got my top of my point just right here at this one and a half. So I'm not gonna stick that down yet because then I just wanna go ahead and pick up another pattern. And I wanna put this piece down, okay? So then I just wanna make sure that I'm getting my little, basically you wanna do like um, roughly an eighth of an inch in between. That's what I did, you don't have to. If you wanna use bigger, wider strips and you wanna have like a quarter of an inch in between, you could do that. Or if you want these all to touch, you can also do that too. So these measurements wouldn't work if you were wanting to touch them. You would just have to make adjustments and you're gonna have bigger spaces. So I wanted to see some of my base in behind. I'm gonna do the same thing here so that the gray comes through but that's totally up to you, okay? So that just depends on what look you're going for. So I've got these sitting out here. The next one that I wanna do is I wanna bring in um, this strip right here. I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. Um, I wanna bring in this word strip. The reason is, is I wanna make sure that my next triangle that I put at the bottom at this five and three quarter point right here, um, I wanna make sure that I give myself enough space. So I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna do that. So I know that I've got my spacing correct for me, if that works well for me, then I can come in and I can put this pink one down, okay? So then I think I'm gonna come in and do, maybe I'll do a red one. Okay, so it's this one here. So then that's where my other point goes, okay? So that's my next point. So you can see how I'm building my triangles, okay? I know that's a lot of math on a Sunday morning, especially on a Sunday morning of a long weekend, um, but I'm hoping that this is making sense to you girls once you put these few little dots and making sense as to why I've put these dots here. So um, nothing crazy, but just you need to give your place a, uh, yourself a place to start and then we can, we're just going to build up off of that. Okay, so my next piece is going to be this little floral guy right here. So I'm going to do this little star one. And then I'm just getting myself started. I've got my little spot. You can see like I've put little colors in in these little blank spots, but I didn't do that till the end. Okay, so don't worry about those. So I've got my little stars there. Then I'm gonna do this long one here, this um, green leaf one. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna grab a different pattern of blue. So then I'm gonna go, okay, so see, I'd put this one down a little too far. My spacing was a little off. 
So now I can move that. I've got that one ready. Then I want to come in and do this little craft polka dot one. So I think I'm going to come in and do this little guy. So then this one is going to go to this point. So you can see how this is starting to come together, right? It starts to make a little more sense. And it just, the reason why we have this line and these little dots, and then we're gonna be able to just move off of this, no big deal, okay? So I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna put this one right here. This one goes here. And then you can see I'm back. So now I've got kind of the same thing where my two, my first piece and my last piece are right at the edges of our base. Okay, so now I've got my starting spot. Once I have this, then I can just move on from there and then you're just gonna start filling in all the pieces. So you're gonna come in and do some straight and some sides. So I'm gonna keep going with that, but I wanna stick these ones down first, okay? So get these ones started, get them adhered, and then we can go from there, okay? So just take a minute, don't panic. I know it's a lot first thing in the morning, but um, go ahead and start sticking these pieces down. So I'm gonna start with my first one, which was my yellow. And I'm just gonna go ahead, for me, I start and I get, because you don't know where these are coming off, you don't wanna put a bunch of adhesive on there and have them sticking all over the place. So I just put a little bit on the front, like the top side that's gonna go on. Um, and then when I come in later, once I go and cut these, cause I'm gonna cut these sides off, right? Once I do that, then I can go ahead, and clearly I can't seem to get that one straight this morning. Um, then I can go ahead and I can adhere some more adhesive under the bottom and that's where I'll come in with my uh, glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tack these down. So I've got them where I want them. And then we're gonna go ahead and build. And you know, you girls, this isn't, I mean, it's obviously, it's a little bit tricky. It's not, you know, it's not just a cut your paper, stick them down kind of layout, but the end result is so pretty. So I'm going to tell you a little history on this layout. Trina is so lovely and she sends, um, whenever she gets scrapbooking and in her creative zone, obviously Trina is the lovely lady that takes my hand-drawn sketches and um, creates them into these things of beauty for you girls. Um, whenever she gets crafty, she'll send me layouts that she's created. And this was a take on a layout that she did. And we've had this actually kind of in our back pocket for several months now. And I wanted to make sure that you and I had had enough time to do some other cutting layouts. So we've done quite a few, like our patchwork one last week that gave you guys, it was a lot of cutting for you. Um, so I felt like we were ready to tackle this one. Um, we've done a little bit, we've done some different ones over the last few weeks. So it felt like we were ready. So this was a take on a layout that Trina created um, quite some time ago. And then we just kind of adapted it, made a few changes, changed some photo sizes up, and, uh, and this is what we've come up with for you. So I hope that this is gonna be something that you're gonna be able to use for future. I know that the patchwork one last week was such a hit. Your layouts have been incredible. It's been so fun to see. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one as well and doing some adaptations on it. So now that I've got this starting point, normally I wouldn't cut my edges until I was completely done, but I wanna take these bottom pieces off because I'm actually going to use some of these to fill in some of my little triangle corners like these little spots down here so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull out my trimmer I'm going to flip it over grab my trimmer and then I'm just going to go ahead and you can do this with your trimmer girls or you can do this with your straight edge and um, your just a finger knife like a craft knife if you want it's totally up to you how you want to do it just gonna come in here. I'm gonna take those off because I want to use these. So I'm just gonna set these off to the side and I'll use these at the end. These little tiny bits. And then I think I'm just gonna use my scissors if I can find them. And I'll just cut off these two little points at the side here okay so now you can see like these papers are a little floppy on the bottom because I need to add a little more adhesive to those and I'll go ahead and just use my liquid glue for that 
So how are we doing, girls? Are you getting these all stuck down? Is this making sense or is this a little, a little much first thing in the morning? I think you, you've got it. The triangle one last weekend prepared you and you're all ready. So now I'm just gonna take up these corners. I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue underneath all of these and make sure that they're all stuck. And then we can go on and start building on from here. So like I said earlier, there's gonna be a few of these little three inch strips that we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut them down a little bit. And you know what? This layout may not look the same twice when you create it. You may get it a little bit different um, as you go along. Oh, hey, Denise. Yeah, for sure you can watch the re replay. You betcha. What size are the rectangles supposed to be? So the rectangles are one by three, Terry. Um, but we're going to do a little bit of cutting on some of them as well. Most of them are going to be starting out the one by three, and then we'll do a little trimming. Luba, what are you saying no, no, no to? What are you doing? You're all good. So that's where we are to start. Okay, so everybody's got our starting spot. So then you can see compared to this one, that we've just got our triangles that we're starting, okay? So I'm just gonna set this one up a little bit again. Maybe I'll set it this way so that you guys can still see the finished one as we start to move. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to start filling in my spots, okay? So I'm gonna come in here. You can see this pink one. I'm gonna line one up here with this um, yellow. And really what you wanna do is just with your patterns, just get them um, so that you're opposite, right? You don't want anything too close together. So I'm gonna pull a pattern like this maybe. I'll take this one and I'll start this one here. So then it's gonna line up with the top of my yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down. I'll get that one started. And then I'll do the rest of my cutting off a little later. Okay, I won't need to do any of that right now. Please start again. Uh, good morning, Carolyn. Hi, it's okay. There you go. So you've got the first strip, Luba, right here. It's this yellow one right here. So you had to do your line, right? You did your line at one and a quarter inches up from the bottom, or one and three quarters, sorry, up from the bottom. You did your first little dot at one and a half. Your second dot was at five and three quarters. And your third one is at nine and three quarters. So you're starting here with this first one. And then you're going to stripes, then blue, then the red is going to your second dot, the five and three quarter dot. Then you're gonna put your little star one down and then you're gonna do this blue one. Then you're gonna put this argyle one here. That is not argyle, that's just a stripe, plaid. You're gonna put that one at nine and three quarters and then you're gonna go ahead and put this argyle one. Okay, so you're starting on the yellow, you got it. Hi Wendy, yeah, it's pretty, hey? It'll be a fun one to go back and, and uh, do when you have a minute. Or just jump right on and start with us. You're not too far behind. Okay, so here's my next one. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start moving along. So I want to do this pink one right here, which is above the red, right? And now I'm going to put one up in here. So this might not be three inches. So that's where you start doing a little bit of cutting, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab this one. So see, that one's not quite three inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and take about a quarter of an inch off the end of that one. I'm just gonna trim it off. And then I've got my right size. So this one is actually two and three quarters, okay? So that's where when you come in, you just might have a few different little sizes in there, okay? This one, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this one with glue actually, because I know I'm not moving that one at all. I don't have to do any cutting off of it. It's just gonna live where I put it right now. So now I've got my spacing correct. And that one can just stay right there, okay? So then same thing. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do this lined one right here. So see how I did this one on the left? Now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do this word one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna come in. Oops, I totally moved your, moved all that for you as you're looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one right here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put a yellow one there. I'm gonna bring some yellow over to this side. So now I'm gonna put this one just like that, okay? So now we're just gonna go ahead and build this as we move up. So you should, a little bit like a puzzle, if any of you are puzzle girls. 
It's just a little bit about making the pieces fit where you want them. Yes, you're gonna use lots of your scrap strips, Denise, you betcha. Again, like this is what we wanna do, right? You wanna use up your product. That's why we're doing our cards afterwards, right? You guys are gonna make a few cards when you're done this layout. That's the whole thing. You wanna use your product. This is great for all those strips that we keep cutting. Okay, so then I wanna come in and I'm gonna build a little bit in here. So now I'm gonna do this one right here that's right underneath this photo, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and put that one down. That one I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a striped one, or maybe another red one. So I'll do a little red one here. So again, little off on size, I'm just gonna go ahead and take an eighth of an inch off of this one. And then that one's gonna fit perfectly in line, gives me my space, but I'm in line with this. So this one is just really about getting all your angles. I know this one is not going to move, so I'm gonna just stick it down with glue. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick this down like this. Okay, how are y'all doing? You keeping up? This is one, again, like I said, it's just a little bit of a a little bit of a mind game to start, but once you get going, then you just start filling in all your spots and you're good to go. So I'm gonna come back up onto the left here and I'm gonna do this one, this floral right here. I'm gonna do one right in here. So I think I'm gonna bring this star paper in and I'm gonna come right here. And then again, that's gonna give me this little empty spot here where I just filled in with this pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the stars down and then I can fill in that little corner after. Just like that, okay? And then I can come up if I want and I can start up in here. So this one is gonna be this row, okay? The next row. So I've done my first little corner here. This row is this row. And now I can come and build off of this little piece right here. So I'm gonna do these two pieces and then I'll move back over to the right side again. Okay, so I'm gonna choose one for here. What do I wanna do with that one? I think we'll do a stripe. So that's really your biggest thing is just kind of figuring out where you want your patterns. I mean, the more patterns you use, obviously, um, then you've got lots more choice, right? That's totally up to you. I used a few more patterns on this one than I did on the first one. Okay, and then you just got your nice space in there. And then I think I'm gonna put a solid so I'll come in here with this denim looking one. And then I'll just come up this way. And there's that line right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come back over to the right side here. And I'm gonna work a little bit in this space. So this space right here is right here. So you're seeing this, um, this word piece right here. And I'm going to come back in here and do a yellow. It's not going anywhere, so I'm going to glue it down. I don't have to move that one. And that one is a three inch, so you can see that's just perfect. So lots of these are just the three inches, and every once in a while, you just have to trim a little one down just to make it fit in your space. Yes, Carolyn, these have got an eighth of an inch space in them. Depending on what size you want to use, if you wanted to make these wider, bigger, you can actually touch them if you want, or you can make it a quarter of an inch, but I just have an eighth of an inch space. You can see that on the white one here. There's all the white base showing, and then there's the gray base showing on the one I'm doing with you right now. So I've got this yellow one here. Now I want to come in and start building in this spot right here. So that is right here, and it's underneath my journal card. So I'm going to go ahead and throw one up in there. I know that this is a little bit shorter, I can tell already. So I know, see look, I want two and a half. I'm giving myself that eighth of an inch space and I want a two and a half inch strip right in here. Okay, so you can start seeing that as you're building, you can see that you need to um, make a few adjustments depending on what you're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue one. So I'm gonna do a two and a half inch piece. I'm gonna put that one right in here. Okay, stick that one down. And you also remember too, once you start building your layout on top of this, 
And if you have anything and you're like, oops, I made that too small or I didn't like that or whatever, some of this is going to be covered up in here as well. We're only going up five lines. So you can see on here, I've only gone up five. You can go up three, you can go up two, you can do your whole page. Um, it really, really is up to you. You can just kind of build this however you like it. It's um, definitely one that you can play around a lot with. So don't be afraid to make some changes. My way is not the only way. It is just the way that I chose to do it. So you can go ahead and make it your own. I'm going to bring in this one here. So this one, I know I need to take some off. I'm just going to do an eighth of an inch off of that one. And I think it would be really cute with some wider papers as well, too, if you guys wanted to do that. You could make them in bigger chunks. And even maybe just like three patterns or something. I just think it's going to be really fun to see your takes on them. So you can see how I just, same thing, I'm just going to keep building and moving up. Now I'm going to put a long one right in here. What am I going to put in there? I think I will put maybe another red one right up in there. How's it coming, girls? Are you too busy to even interact? <laughs> this is a lot of cutting for you. I know it is. So I'm going to come back down in here. So here I've got this blue, which on this layout, it's right in here. So I'm going to do this pink one. So I'm going to put a nice three inch strip in there. And what am I going to do? I think I might do another yellow. Get that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put just a little two inch spot here. I'm just going to double check. I think I did that one at two. I did. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little two because that's going to be where I stop. I'm going to stop up in this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and use this red one and make it a two inch piece. And this one is going to be my final height on my left. And again, that just becomes a personal choice. It's up to you, however you want to do that. I'm going to put this guy in here and then that gives me a spot just for this little guy up here and I'm going to finish those in just a few minutes but I'm going to finish up in this space here. So again too look I've covered a lot of this space if you just want to leave this blank you totally can or you can just keep building that's really up to you. Okay so I'm going to come in here I'm going to put I don't think I'm going to use a stripe I'm going to use this one. I'm going to come in here. That's another little three inch one. So you can tell that your middle kind of starts to build up in all threes for the most part. You don't have a, and you don't have a whole lot of trimming, just a little bit, just to kind of make some of these work in the way that you want them to. I'm going to come in. This one's going to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to take a little bit off of that one. And then pretty quick here, I think I'm going to be done and ready to start putting my photos on. So it's totally up to you guys. I want to fill in these couple of little spots here. I'm going to show you how I did that. I think I'm going to throw a couple more up in here. So this one here, I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off that one. Is everyone doing? turkey or like for family or is it just for your house we're not really having anybody over with Scott coming obviously he um he's quarantined though it didn't matter with our son as far as um Alex gets to go to school as long as he's asymptomatic so because they still do their masks and all their protocols so um they're not concerned about him unless he comes up with symptoms so that's good so he can still go to school though I'm sure he would have <laughs> enjoyed not going. Um, I am going to fill in just a little bit in here. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more um, pieces in this spot. And then I'm pretty much done. So I'm going to take about a half an inch off of that one. Maybe one more quarter. Maybe that's a two inch. I think it is. Put this one in here. And 
And that is pretty much it for me, girls. I'm gonna go one more up in this top side here. I'm gonna put this little star one up here. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying. Just kind of that finishing off. Okay, so I'm gonna get my trimmer out again. I'm gonna trim off all of these edges. And again, like I said, you can use a straight edge with a knife if you like, or even your scissors. You don't have to use your trimmer. I just find it a little easier. I'm gonna keep these just in case I wanna use them for my little corners, just until I'm done. Flip this over. Like that. And there, look at that. Fun, hey? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in these couple of little spots here. I think I'm gonna do, let me see if my red is big enough for this. Oh, it totally is. So I'm gonna go ahead, I know how big my piece is. I'm just gonna put a little glue right on there. Perfect. And then in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Same thing, I'm just gonna put a little bit of a triangle there. That one filled up and I really am hoping I have a little bit of yellow. I do. I want to put a little yellow right in here. That's where that metal tip comes in handy ladies. See how nice I can get that little bit of glue in that really tiny spot there. Now what else have I got here? I've got maybe a little, maybe I'll do this little bit of glue here. This one. Oh, you know what? I don't want that one. I'm going to use this one. Do this guy in here. And then we're just about ready to start putting photos on. How are you all doing? You getting it all there? Okay. I'm going to flip this over. Do one more trim. I think I'm actually just going to use my scissors for this. These are my favorite gold scissors, girls. These are um, by American Crafts, and I absolutely love them. They've been out of stock for a while. I was actually trying to bring some of them in, so if anyone wants them, let me know. They're just such, they're like old school. I, they remind me of the scissors that the teacher always had on her desk in elementary school. They're um, a really nice, heavy handle, and I love the gold, and I think they also come in a rose gold, too. They're really pretty. Okay, there. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this in with these. So again, this one here, I had, this is the three and a half by five and a half. This photo that I'm using today, I dropped it to five, so I did it a little bit shorter. Um, but I've got my three and a half by five and a half. This one is my three and a half by three and a half, and then this is the little two by two up in the corner. I matted them all, so just a quarter of an inch larger than the size of your photo for your mats. I raised these two and then this one is just flat up in the top corner. And then I did one of our little, uh, this is from our basics printable. So if you don't have that, definitely go to downloads on my website and grab that because that is a really, really great printable that Trina and I created for you um, that has lots of different pieces that you can cut out. So this one, I just gave myself a little bit of a white edge. It's got a nice black border and then you can do your little journaling in there. And then I just tucked in all of my embellishments. I've got some enamel dots in here and then my title. So that is that one. This one here, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one down a little bit. This one is gonna come up in here and then I've got this one right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick those down and then I'll do a little embellishing later and I'll post this one for you on Tuesday as well once it's all done. So how are you making out, girls? Are you getting all these together? I think you're probably cutting and pasting frantically because you're awfully quiet. I'm just gonna get some 3D foam here and start adding these ones. I always do all four corners and one in the middle for good luck. Totally up to you. And I trimmed my nails the other day, which doesn't seem like a big deal, except when you're doing things like trying to take the backing 
off of 3D foam. It does not want to come off very well. Okay, I'm gonna flip this guy over. And then, I mean, you can put these wherever you want. I, again, when I've got a paper like this where I've got lines, how easy is that? I just wanna make sure that I've got it in my, I can just line it right up on there, no big deal. The colors are pretty great with the photos, hey Michelle? Yeah, these, you know what, like I said, I always work really hard to try to um, use the kits in different ways than the themes, right? So I know sometimes you get so stuck in, oh, well, I don't have a boy. Well, you know what? This layout is not just about boys. This was for obviously a homecoming and it worked, um, worked really, really well. And then I'm just adding different thickers. So I'm just using different letters and some different embellishments that um, are not with this kit. So, so see, then I can go ahead and do that. I can just use my lines and line them all up and then I'm just gonna do this little one flat up in the corner and then it still gives me a spot to put my journal and card and my title. I'm gonna do that one right there. There, done, just like that. So see, that wasn't too hard. Hey, Carolyn. Yes, he did make it home. These are the pictures that we took the other night. He got home on what's today? Sunday. He got home Friday night. So Friday night. So yesterday was amazing. We did really not a whole lot of anything. He just got used to being in the house again, which was really nice because it's been eight and a half months. It's a long time. So got used to obviously all the new changes. The house looks nothing like it did when he left. So, um, we spent some time in the pool, which is really nice. Pretty nice to be in a pool in the middle of October, let me tell you that. So those are the pictures from when he came home. So there you go, ladies, that's not too hard, hey? I know some of you are probably still cutting and sticking, but not too hard. So just a little recap, remember we started on the bottom first, we took, um, oh, and you know what? I can't really see the, I mean, once we're done, we're done here. You can't really see the pencil, but all I did, like on my white, you can still see a little bit. I just took my um, eraser. And if you can see your pencil lines, once you get all your paper on, which you might not be able to really see anything, you can just do a little bit of a, an erase in there, but just do a light little pencil line. So we started by doing a pencil line, one and three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. And then we put a little dot at one and a half at five and three quarters and at nine and three quarters. And then we started in our bottom and we laid our first sets down, right? We took nine little strips and laid them all down first. And then we got our place. That was kind of our starting point, right? So it just makes for a much easier move up your layout if you give yourself a little bit of a start there. Okay, so that's it. That's all, you guys did it. It wasn't too tricky. Yes, we're so happy to. Yeah, thanks, Carolyn. Definitely uh, a great Thanksgiving for our family, for sure. So we are happy and we're gonna be at home. We're gonna, we're not doing too much. We've got uh, lots of yard to enjoy. So it's really great. So ladies, remember, yeah, you have a wonderful Thanksgiving too. So remember, I've got the prizes that are going out this week. If you want to be entered into this week's draw, your take on this layout gets posted in the group or on your own social media channels tagging my business. So you can tag on Instagram, Jennifer Edwardson Creative Inc. You can also do the same thing. You can post it on any related posts on my Facebook page, um, my business Facebook page. Some of you are on my personal one as well. So all of this on the business or you can go ahead and post this in the group and I will make a draw again. You have all week. Remember, we're leaving it open to, until Saturdays so that you have time so you can make that post throughout the week and then there'll be another draw. All of these great prize packs are going out. And again, I'm so sorry for the delay, but these are all going out this week. And then there'll be another draw for something different uh, this coming weekend. And the biggest news today was that you now have free shipping for one whole day. So starting now, I put it on this morning and it is um, open until tomorrow night at 11.30 p.m. PST. Any order over $75 is free shipping and no matter what the weight. So anywhere from $14.50 up to $18.50, which is um, our shipping rate. So you get to save those. 
Oh, when your company leaves, Gwen. Yes, definitely. Give it a try when you've got a little bit of time. <laughs> oh, Adele, you'll catch up for sure. Thank you. Your husband grew up in Saudi? That's amazing. Oh, wow. That's really cool. You'll have to tell us how you met one day. Um, Scott's been working over there for a really long time. He kind of started his international career there many years ago and I'll kind of finish it out there, I'm sure, too. So, yes, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Yes, so code is free shipping, all capitals, all one word, free shipping. Take advantage of it. It's only the second time that I've offered it, girls, and I don't know when the next time will be. So if there's some kits that you've been looking for, some embellishments, um, go ahead and get those today or tomorrow. And uh, your orders will go out on Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, message me. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you here on Wednesday night for some fun little Halloween project. Oh, thanks, you guys. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Have an amazing day with your family. And I'll look forward to seeing you all really soon. Okay, bye.